On Mondays, you know how we get it in each week. We talk about it all. <laughs> it's an inside scoop with Rufus Monday, and we're discussing the touchy topics, and we're here for it all. Tuesday, we have an Ask Rufus Letter Hour, and on Wednesday, his education, his legendary music lineage, Black Lives Matter, is a few topics that we're going to be discussing. We're talking about it all with Professor Wilbur Belton. Uh, we all need to be treated equally because we were born we didn't, we didn't Thursday is a Real Talk with Rufus discussion where we're going to tackle the subject with men in our position to be still and don't move. You don't want to miss this, all right? You don't want to miss this whole week. But on Friday is our Fiery Fridays and it's leading up to Father's Day weekend and we're dedicating the entire episode to fathers. And we also going to pay a special tribute to my father. He was a great man. You don't want to miss this whole entire week. I may be 5'3", but this whole show is my big and it packs a powerful punch and i'm gonna show it to you all trust me the rs3 show airs every monday through friday for more about me or our broadcast you can visit our website at the rh3show.com Have you ever thought about starting your own podcast? When I was trying to get this podcast off the ground, I had a lot of questions. How do I record an episode? How do I get my show into all the apps that people like to listen to? And how do I make money from my podcast? The answer to every one of these questions is so very easy and simple. It is Anchor, y'all. It's Anchor. Anchor is a one-stop shop for recording, hosting, and distributing your podcast. Best of all, it is 100% and ridiculously easy to use. Most of all, it is free. And now, y'all, Anchor can match you with great sponsors who want to advertise on your podcast. That means you can get paid right away. In fact, that's what I'm doing right now by reading this ad here. I use Anchor for my radio broadcast as another branch to advertise and promote my episodes and my show that stems right from YouTube. And what I like about Anchor is that it distributes all to many platforms as well as it has an in-depth statistics to where you can see how your podcast is doing. That's cool, right? I love it. So if you always wanted to start your podcast and make money doing it, please go to anchor.fm forward slash start to join me and the diverse community of podcasters who are already using Anchor. That's anchor.fm forward slash start. My name is Red and I'm the host of the RH3 show. I cannot wait to hear your podcast. Oh, precious Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you for this day. Lord, we thank you for this broadcast. Lord, we thank you for each and every one that is listening to me under the sound of my voice. Lord, bless today's broadcast. Lord, give me the right words and the right things to say during our Ask Red Letter, Ask Rufus Letter segment. Lord, continue to move by your spirit. Lord, continue to raise up somebody somewhere to use their power, their ability, and their influence to help me and the help the RH3 show brand and listeners. Uh, know that we love you for real, God, and we just lift your name on high and glory and magnify your name. Because it is in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Y'all, let's go get it. Let's do it. It's time for the Arch 3 show. And now we're pleased to bring you our feature presentation. Mike Chat 1212. <laughs> Switch my old dad and that's from sin of the saint. As winners, we can't live by the picture they paint. Because they know that all the inner is changed. So we must live out our lives with a sense of restraint. Which means do I live and we ain't? We are controlled by the flesh. We're 
What's going on, everybody? This is your boy, Red, host of the RH3 Show. Welcome to another great day, another great hour here on whatever platform you're listening to me on, whatever station you're listening to me on. Welcome to another great day. We kicking it off. We Well, we kicked it off yesterday with a great show, y'all. Thank y'all so much for tuning into yesterday's show. Let's get started. It is time for the Inside the Scoop with Rufa segment. It is where I give you all my honest, of most certainly is this my honest, my unscripted opinion on world and entertainment news. And plus, during that time, we have our chit-chat session. But we're going to get it in on today. We're going to discuss some stuff. And then we got our Ask Red Letter segment. All right. It is time for the Inside Scoop of the Red segment. All right. Let's do that. Drop. Drop it. Drop it. Drop. Drop. Drop it. Drop it. Drop it. Drop it. <laughs> No, I'm not a writer. Okay. Want the latest news regarding the TV, movies, sports, politics, and music industry? It is time for the Inside Scoop of the Red right here on the RH3 show. You all, it is time for the Inside Scoop with Rufus segment. This is where I give you my honest, my unscripted opinion on world and entertainment and news. And also we have our chit chat session during this time. And so we are bound to do that each and every time whenever I get on here, whether we have a topical discussion on today or whether we have a guest or whatever. Speaking of a guest tomorrow, we got Professor Wilbur Belton with us, and he is here to discuss his music, y'all. He's a bad man. He's a bad man. Very, very smart and intelligent. He's a he's a professor. He uh, he uh, uh, teaches edu- He teaches music. I think he teaches music, but we'll talk to him about it tomorrow. You know, we'll talk to him about it. He is on the air tomorrow. He'll be on the air tomorrow with us live. And, uh, you know, we'll be chopping it up with Professor Wilbur Belton. And, uh, you know, he's going to be talking about we We got it scheduled. We got it planned to talk about a whole lot of stuff. Black Lives Matter, uh, his music lineage. Um, a lot, a lot. So join us on tomorrow with Professor Wilbur Belton, Professor Wilbur Belton. Um, and what else do we have for you all? Um, my weekend, y'all, by the way, thank you all for submitting your, uh, questions, uh, uh, to me in regards to, International Albinism Awareness Day, which was on this past Saturday. I meant to mention it on uh, yesterday's broadcast, which was Monday, uh, uh, June the 15th, but I, I totally forgot. Um, I totally forgot. And so, yeah, um, but my weekend was great. And I mean, I forgot to talk about the weekend. But my weekend was great. Sorry, y'all. I have my tea mix right beside me. I got um a, a, a snack, but hey, it is what it is. Y'all already know how we do. It is what it is. What y'all got? I got my tea mix, and I got a thing of Doritos. <laughs> thing of Doritos here chilling with me on air. So hey, listen. Oh yeah. By the way, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> when I got off of air and I heard the podcast, because listen, y'all, after, and I keep saying it, after uh, I get off air, the same episode goes about six o'clock ish. It goes on another station. Pre-recorded. That station is pre-recorded, and it also goes to the podcast platforms. If I had a dollar or 
a hundred dollars for every time I said listen. I would have been I, I not rich, but I'd had I'd had a good chunk of change. I'd had a good chunk of change, so yeah. Um, um, I had a good chunk of change, but, um, all is well, all is well. I thank you all for submitting those. And I also had on my personal page, um, um, a video that I did with them in regards to albinism, um, I was about to say professional, international albinism awareness, um, day. And so, I will try to upload that and premiere it on my, um, on my, um, on the radio show page or whatever. But y'all, I, y'all, God is good. 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 I just, I just thank God. I, I, I just can't, I just can't thank him enough. Y'all, as soon as I get off of air. I'm getting my like like they say in the country on my mother's side is in the deep south. I'm getting my honey back in the bed. I'm going home, getting back in the bed, and so um, yeah. Follow me on social media, y'all. I want to listen. I'm tired of there. Go again. <laughs> I'm tired of telling y'all. Follow me. I'm tired of telling y'all. Hold on. I may be sounding distant from the mic, but I cannot open it up in on um close to the mic. But um follow me. Follow me. I'm gonna have to I'll talk about that later. Probably next week. And I need to go ahead and email um, um, the execs in regards to some things. So I'll talk about that later. But a lot of a lot of things is happening for the fifth season of the Arch Three Show. Fifth season, yes, y'all. We have been in. Well, we've been on radio for five years, but the Arch Three Show is actually ten years old. It's actually ten years old, and. During yesterday's broadcast, y'all, whenever I played that song, God, We Need More, uh, that thing took me there. It took me there. I was just out, y'all. I am... Going... Uh, I I'm a I'm a um I am I wear my emotions on my sleeve first of all. That's first and foremost. I wear my emotions on my sleeve. If I'm close to you, I will you will know my emotions for you how I Present myself to you. If I'm around you and talk to you, oh, Red, he cool, he like me, or whatever, you know. And and you know, if it, if it's if it's a dude or whatever, oh, we we homies. I, I'm I'm I let folks know how real and genuine I am with them because I that's just how I am. I'm just the type of person that you know. If I don't rock with you like that, I don't rock with you like that. If I'm rocking with you, oh, we cool, we tight, and. Listen, when they're dealing with emotions, it doesn't always have to be, you know, give or take, um, romantical emotions. It could be, you know, brotherly love. It could be family emotions. It could, you know, all of that love or whatever. It could be, you know, godly love. It could be all of that. And so when somebody say they wear their emotions on their sleeve or they, they love everybody, Every they can love everybody in different different ways, and so one day next week, before the fourth season is out, I am going to um I'm going to um 
share some of that with you all. And I know you can go to the podcast platforms and I know I got some new listeners. But be okay with telling folks that you love them. It all it do, all of it doesn't listen. It don't it don't love don't mean love doesn't have just one meaning. It has about seven meanings. It has about seven meanings. It has about seven meanings. And so, you can show love to your homies. There's a meaning for that. You can show love to strangers. There's a meaning for that. You can show love to your significant other. There's a meaning for that. You can show love to to your parents. There's a meaning for that. You show love to your children. There's a meaning for that. And so, yeah. Um. 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 Uh. Um, yeah, you you can show that, I hope, um, that's it, I'm sorry, I lost my train of thought, when I do that, y'all, you just say, oh yeah, y'all, he he lost his train of thought, because he was occupied and doing something else, but anyway, Here's Nina Taylor. I said that she wasn't going to be here, but she won't be here tomorrow because we got a special guest. Um, and and we're going to rock it out. I told whenever I, you know, did a, a, a um, a, uh, pre-interview, I, um, you know, said, hey, look, you have the half of the show or whatever, whatever. And I was speaking to a correspondent or whatever and said, we're just going to have, we're going to rock it out. And so, you know, we're going to rock it out tomorrow. So coming up next, after me, running my mouth, is Nina Taylor. And then after Nina Taylor, we got our Ask Red Letters. Be back with more of the RH3 show. All right. Hello, everyone. I'm Nina Taylor. And here is your gospel news. One of the most popular gospel choirs of the 1990s is Donald Lawrence and the Tri-City Singers. They also managed to make waves with the secular audiences, similar to other Christian acts during that decade, comprised of Lawrence plus 34 members from the Tri-Cities of Spartanburg, South Carolina, plus Gastonia, and Charlotte, North Carolina. The choir debuted in 1993. The album was A Songwriter's Point of View, which was on the gospel-centric label. The album eventually reached number two on the gospel charts. At the end of the year, the Tri-City Singers had become one of Billboard's top 10 gospel groups, as well as the recipient of several stellar awards and a nomination for the NAACP's Image Award. Their second album, Bible Stories, followed in 1995. They released a holiday LP, Hello Christmas, in 1997. Lawrence and the Tri-City Singers signed to EMI Gospel in 2000, releasing TriCity4.com that same summer. Go Get Your Life Back in 2002, Restoring the Years and the Greatest Hits album with two new tracks appeared in 2003. The next year, Donald Lawrence released his first solo album, I Speak Life. The Tri-City Singers then announced that they were going to call it quits in 2006. They recorded their last concert album together, which was entitled Finale, Act 1 and Finale Act 2. Lawrence's second solo album, The Law of Confession Part 1, arrived in February of 2009, with the second part rumored on the horizon. Lawrence's next release, 
was entitled YRM for Your Righteous Mind, appeared in 2011. Born and raised in California, Joe Kia fell in love with music at the age of 12. Always in tune with music and its performance, she knew it was her calling and began to sing and write songs. Presently, Joe Kia is enjoying her career that is a testament to her musical passions and tenacious drive for making it a reality. Joe Kia attended high school in San Diego. After moving from Compton, California, she went into the Army and served from 2006 to 2010. While in the Army, Jokia gave her life to Christ. She also joined the Army Soldier Show, toured the country and Europe for eight months, and ordered herself a guitar. After leaving the Army, Jokia attended church at Shiloh Worship Center in Belton, Texas. Her performance abilities began to garner her attention, and during that time, Jokia had the honor of sharing the stage with Tasha Cobbs Leonard, Jessica Reedy, Casey J, Vanessa Bell Armstrong, Brianna Barbano, and many more. As a session guitarist and sideman, as well as a solo artist, Jabari Johnson's solo contemporary gospel music merges rock with contemporary R&B and worship music. He made his solo debut in 2019 on the album Day of Redemption as a member of Bishop T.D. Jake's church band. A native of Houston, Texas, Jabari Johnson started singing and playing music at the age of three. When he was eight, he and his brother Nicholas Johnson formed the vocal quartet The Johnson Brothers, who went on to share the stage with Lee Williams, the Canton Spirituals, and many others. Others. Later, as lead guitarist for the Potter's House Choir, he performed not only with the church founder T.D. Jakes, but such gospel artists as Kirk Franklin, Tori Kelly, and Ricky Dillard, just to name a few. What would you do if you had to suddenly evacuate your home due to fire, weather emergency, or what have you? Here's a list of what to do to keep you and your family safe and to be prepared when time is short. First, get all your family members and pets together. Get your medication, a change of clothing, important documents including insurance information, birth certificates, passports, and social security cards. Gather up what money you have and credit cards, a portable radio, a flashlight, and those irreplaceable family photographs. Experts also suggest planning in advance by taking digital pictures of your most valuable possessions including your electronics, your jewelry, your furniture, and other collectibles in your home. Some some of them put them on discs in a safety deposit box and also back them up on a website. This is in case your computer is damaged. That way, it will be easier to show what you had and what you've lost. The U.S. Insurance Institute has an online video that shows you how much can be done in just 10 minutes when a sudden evacuation is called. Log on to their website for more information. Well, that's your gospel news for this week. I'm Nina Taylor reminding you to connect with me on all social media outlets. Outlets. And you can write me at the gospel news with Nina at gmail.com. Now, let's get back to more great gospel music on this great station. On Mondays, you know how we get it in each week. We talk about it all. <laughs> it's an inside scoop with Rufus Monday, and we're discussing the touchy topics, and we're here for it all. Tuesday, we have an Ask Rufus Letter Hour, and on Wednesday, his education, his legendary music lineage, Black Lives Matter, is a few topics that we're going to be discussing. We're talking about it all with Professor Wilbur Belton. Uh, we all need to be treated equally because we were born, we didn't, we didn't Thursday is a Real Talk with Rufus discussion where we're going to tackle the subject with men in our position to be still and don't move. You don't want to miss this, all right? You don't want to miss this whole week. But on Friday is our Fiery Fridays and it's leading up to Father's Day weekend and we're dedicating the entire episode to fathers. And we also going to pay a special tribute to my father. He was a great man. You don't want to miss this whole entire week. I may be 5'3", but this whole show show is my big and it packs a powerful punch and i'm gonna show it to you all trust me the rs3 show airs every monday through friday for more about me or our broadcast you can visit our website at the rh3show.com Thank you. 
Thank you, Nina, for your portion of the Inside Scoop with Red segment with your gospel news. And, um, yeah, that was the promo for the week, you all. I'm still drinking on my tea mix, y'all. I'm trying to get a sponsorship with, um, um, Gold Peak Tea. Y'all should see the amount of bottles I have with Gold Peak. Good God, yesterday and today. Listen, I have a whole lot of it. A whole lot. But, um, I'm drinking... I, I drunk Milo's back in the day, a while, long time ago, but I forgot the taste of it. And so I brought it last week. People raved, rant and rave, shall I say, for Milo's. Y'all can have Milo's. I don't want Milo tea. I want my gold peak. And so y'all help me get a sponsorship with Milo's. Not my lows, but Gold Peak. And you can, uh, what is their Instagram? Let me pull, not the Instagram, well, the Instagram too. Search Gold Peak Beverages or Gold Peak Tea on Instagram. Let me see if I can pull there. Let me see if they are a part of, um, see if they're a part of, um, um, Instagram. Hold on. Yes, they are at Gold Peak. So, at them. At G O L D P E A K and said, uh, and say, um, sponsor the RH3 show. And I'm gonna post a, I'm gonna post a, um, picture now. And then just, if you will, tag them in the picture or comment and at Gold Peak. All right? At Gold Peak. And I think they are the same, uh, handle on Twitter. Let me double check. Excuse me, hold on a second. Hold on just a second here. Uh, hold on one second. Hold on a second. Yep, it's the same handle. At Gold Peak. And so, just at them. <clears throat> at Gold Peak. But um, let's hit the drop. It is time for the uh, 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 Real Talkers Rufus segment, the Ask Red Letters, right here on the RH3 show. Let's go ahead and get it started. Uh, if you have any questions, I don't think I got any last uh, uh, night after I submitted, uh, after, uh, after the show yesterday. So speaking after the show today, I did my last clip last night. And so today... You all will have an, an, an after show of the RH3 show. And so, yeah, um, I'll submit that. Um, y'all will get that around, give or take, three or four-ish or whatever. Just follow us on um, YouTube, youtube.com forward slash I rep a savior. All right, let's go ahead with the first question. And again, if you want to submit a question, hit us up at ASKRH, the number three at gmail.com. Or you can call us at 202-743-1879, 202-743-1879, all right? And um, 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 we'll get that taken care of. It. All of it will be anonymous um, if you send an audio message. Or you can even text us to that number as well and send it. And... um, um um, it, it'll, it'll come to our email, the main, it'll come to the main number and then it'll come to our email and then we'll read it. And so it'll be anonymous and, um, all of it will come to me directly. And so don't nobody else have the, um, ask red letter, ask Rufus letters, um, access, but myself. And so, yeah. And it, when the first letter reads, good morning. Uh, and all of these came from a, uh, uh, group that I'm a part of. And so if I don't get any from you all or what have you, um, I get them from, um, my group that I'm, you know, I'm a part of com the commentary. Uh, it says, good morning, please post and hide my ID. 
I've been married for eight years with two kids, seven-year-old girl and a one-year-old boy. My husband is a very good man and he takes good care of the children and I. But the issue I have is that my husband has uh, temperament issues, especially towards our daughter. When he is angry at her for a wrongdoing, it can be so messy and as bad as beating her so too much. Anytime this happens and I step in, either correct him for being too harsh or sometimes I stand in the way, he gets so angry at me, we stop talking for a week. He says each time he wants to correct her, but I'm always defending her and I'm not a good mother and that I will spoil her. I will always feel he is always angry at her for every little thing. She is just seven. He fights her like they are mates sometimes. So uh, last night he asked my girl to go take a shower. She did not want to go because of the movie that she was watching. So she started crying. My husband got angry and started slapping her like he was fighting his mate. Serious slap. Wow. Um, he went to get his belt to beat her. After slapping her uncontrollably like eight times, her cheek was swollen with marks in um, his palm. I controlled myself yesterday. I did not step in and did not say a word about it. But I couldn't sleep seeing my child in pain beating marks. I'm just crying right now and beating uh, uh, sounds in my ears makes me so emotional. Please uh, um, help. I need please how I need help um, on how to confront him that he was too harsh on her. He hates it when I correct him. He does like he is always right. And I need help losing my patience right now. Thank you. Okay. Listen here. Listen here. And this advice comes in what came in. To my came to my thought close to the end of this letter. Because I was getting ready to say, okay, well tell him that you know you feel that he don't need to be disciplining the daughter. Let you do it. That's what I would have, you know, would have said. Because me personally, I, as a good man and as a good father, if I should have a daughter, yes, I will discipline her. But for one, it will be so hard for me to because she is my daughter. And it, it, I can only remember once. Having to jack up my son once. And this was while he was in his middle school age. Was it middle school age or elementary? It was mid elementary to middle school, I believe. He was over here or whatever. And he had, I think he had said something slick. I don't, I don't remember. But I never had a problem with him. You know, discipline wise. I had to call him and check him a couple of times because, you know, his mom, you know, said you need to talk to, to, to trail or whatever. But other than that, no, 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 no. But I feel that fathers, of course, need to, to discipline their children, but not to this extreme. OK, here's where the advice came in closer to the end of this letter. Sister girl. You need to leave because if somebody see those marks on that daughter, who going to jail? He is and you are. Why? You tolerated it. Get your tail up and leave. Your daughter, I know somebody now. Not not dealing with uh, in, in not dealing with abuse or whatever, not dealing with discipline. But they said they have a really sharp memory. You know, they was talking. I forgot what the subject was. No, I know it was. She was the young lady was talking about international albinism aware, awareness. She was a, a a black woman with albinism, and she was talking about her childhood and growing up. And she was you know talking about her younger years. And she said, "Oh, and I have a very sharp memory." 
No telling if that daughter, when she get older, have a very sharp memory. She's going to remember her father beating her crap, beating the crap out of her like this. And then her mother, sometimes intervening, sometimes not, her mother staying there and allowing it. If you love your children and they're going through abuse with, through, with the other significant other, you need to leave. So you, for one, won't be, uh, uh, involved and for two to even protect your children even more. I know he probably won't, won't intentionally hurt them. And, and I feel that, and I personally feel that, and they could, and they could grow from it because I grew from it because I had a different mindset on discipline. You know what I do now, but, um, and I'll tell y'all about that in a minute. And I'll tell y'all another question. Um, it really wasn't a question, but I'll, you know, it's another subject. But anyway, um, um, had another, had a di- totally different mindset on discipline. And I, f- I personally feel that how we discipline our children is what we've seen and what we've done and what worked for us or what done, you know, what happened for us in our house. Because trust me. I'm going to tell tales tell, up in my house, in RH3 house, in, 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 in Red's house. I'm going to tear up, but that tearing up will come. This is where my, my, my thought pattern changed. It will come in after one, expl- no, one tries a second, I mean, uh, you know, one, um, giving you a warning and, 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 you know, whatever, seeing you trying to work, whatever you going throughout. Cause you could be just going through something in your head, going through it Two, okay. Give you another try to, 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 to get over it. Three. Okay. Talking to you after that third time, you know what I've give I've gave, I've given you time after time, you know, to, 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 to handle this, to deal with this, to work this out, to this, that, and the third, but you at, you, nah, mm-mm. I'm about to light you up. And whenever I do it, it's not going to be in the form of abuse. For one, it, and, and I learned this from my pastor and I learned this, you know, you don't, you don't discipline no child or you don't, you know, any woman or man when it comes to disagreement or whatever, you use your hands for loving, you use your hands for loving, you use your hands for loving, you do not use your hands to discipline or to correct. Nah, no, 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 no. Spare the rod, spoil the child. Some people believe on that. Some people don't. Some people believe on that. Some people don't. I believe on it. But I also believe, you know, I'm not going to spare it for too long. But seven-year-old and open-handed... And leaving marks, and then you also hearing that. Nah, sweet, nah, sweetheart. Nah, nah. You allowing that? You allowing that? And if one day he in there, you know, slapping on your daughter, and then you hear dead silence, and 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 you know he, you hear, oh my God, and something that happened to her. Both of y'all in trouble. Cause you sat there and did nothing. Mm mm. No. Mm mm. You need to go. This is a cut, cut and dry question. Let's move on. I have a friend who has, and after this, um, no. Before I go into that one, since we're on the 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 the, the topic of abuse and topic of, um, um. Um, topic of abuse and topic of, um, um, discipline. 
Um, um, I ain't gonna say who, where, or whatever, but I'll say this much. Well, you know what? I ain't even gonna go there. When it comes to men, and excuse me, that's my stomach. I'm hungry. I, these chips is not satisfying me enough. So if you can bring me by some lunch, do so. Anyway, but when it comes to using your hands in disagreement, whether you a man or a woman, you wrong. Women hitting men, you wrong. Women, I mean men hitting a woman, you wrong. I do not condone neither one of it. I don't condone men hitting women, and I don't condone women hitting men. I don't condone men running over women. I don't condone women running over men. I do condone protecting yourself. Because it can happen. Anything can happen. A very soft-hearted man who don't hit a woman and, you know, she just would feel with rage because of maybe he softly said no and something that he don't, she don't like. He's taking it out. She's taking it out on him. And next thing you know, you know, da 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 you know, you da 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 and then using hands or objects or whatever. Nah, he can be gone in an instant. So that means, no, we, like Whoopi Goldberg said a while back, and I think I have, Lord, <laughs> I'm about to say something that uh, a comedian said, but um, Lord, I pray in the archives that I have this clip. If I don't, um, I'll continue on with the explanation. And so, well, I'll go ahead and explain it. If I haven't, I'll let y'all hear it at the explanation. But it was something that was going on. And Whoopi was saying, you know, to, uh, on The View, talking about, um, about, you know, men hitting women and women hitting men. They just shouldn't allow. And we, I'll say this much. What Whoopi said is my sentiments exactly. I don't condone. And this is coming from the bottom of my heart. Y'all know. By listening to me, by listening to the RH3 show, I, the RH3 show, I do not condone men putting your hand on women because you do not supposed to be do that. You are less of a man. You are, <laughs> you are low down, dirty dog if you do it. And I know this is a Christian uh, a show, a Christian talk show or whatever, but I give it to you real raw, straight to the point. You low down and you dirty if you do. But protect yourself. That doesn't mean use your hands to protect. I mean, to, 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 to discipline. That does not mean that. I'm not saying that. I'm not, fellas, I'm not saying that. So don't you do that. Don't do that. What I'm saying is, my mother told me, my brother and I, I, and she, she was said it with emphasis, emphasis. Woman from the deep south. I bet not hear you all. Hear y'all putting y'all hand on a woman. But I also bet not let, <clears throat> let hear that you allowing a woman to put their hands on you. And with that being said, she also said, you got to protect yourself. If it calls you to grabbing, you know, the lady by her arms to stopping her. From putting her hands on you, do that. Pushing her away from you, do that. But don't hit no woman. Ladies, you need to y'all need to stop putting your hands on men. Stop it. Well, they put their hands on me. Okay, call the law. Get out. Leave. Go get your brother. And I will be the first to tell, look, go get your brother. Go get somebody in the community to go whoop his tail. 
Oh, he promoting violence. No, I'm not. I'm pro- promoting protection. Protect yourself at all costs. Protect yourself at all costs. Protect, pr- protect yourself at all costs. Do not allow some 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 joker to put his hands on you. All right, ladies. I mean, fellas, don't allow s- some 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 girl to put her hands on you. Protect yourself at all costs. And let me just point out that the comment that he made is based on what the young lady said she did. Let's just let me just make that clear to y'all. She said I hit him. And I believe that's what Stephen is pointing. I just want to say for a man. Yes. Hitting a woman unless his life is in jeopardy. I'm sorry. He knocked her out. He knocked her out. Listen, I'm sorry. If you hit somebody, you cannot be sure you are not going to get hit by Adam because no, 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 no. Oh, yes, yes, no. baby. Listen, if okay, you're a little boy, I'm sorry. If ever. you're a little boy yeah. and you grow up with a little a sister, says no you can never hit her and she's like this and she's hitting you all the time you say mommy mommy she like, well you know what i'm sorry if you hit her if, no there's, there's you have to teach no women you have to teach women do not do not put your hands on anybody do not wait let me just let me let me can i let me just finish my point because i know i'm going to catch a lot of and i don't care but you have to teach women do not live with this idea that men have the chivalry thing still with them. Right. Don't assume right. that that's still in place. Right. So, you know, so I, don't be surprised if you hit a man and he hits you back. You don't it. hit well, it, it it doesn't doesn't listen, it. I'm sorry. You hit somebody, they hit you back. Okay, don't be surprised. When it comes to physical strength, they're not equal. When it comes to physical strength, they're not equal. You know what? Then teach hit the man. If you're concerned, listen, you men have already been taught. There's no circumstance to hit a girl unless your life is in danger. I'm sorry. I've tried a lot of domestic I've tried a lot of domestic violence cases. Men cannot hit women. Period. Then you have to teach the women not to put their hands up on anybody. That's blame the victim though. That's oh my god. That is not blame the victim. I just said don't anybody hit anybody don't hit anybody but if you make the choice as a woman who's four foot three and you decide to hit a guy who's six foot tall and you're the last thing he wants to deal with that day and he hits you back you cannot be surprised let's not hit him anyone here's this question and then i'll take a commercial break I have a friend who has a 17 year old daughter. He says he doesn't want to bring me around his daughter until we are in a serious situation. I live alone. He wants to come to my house. I told him, excuse me. I told him if I'm not welcome to his house, he's not welcome to my house. Do you think I'm doing right by not allowing him to come to my house? If, uh, um, or should I respect the fact that he has a daughter living with him? Listen, we about to get paid today by saying listen, but um, I can see, I can understand him, but seventeen year old, dude, don't use that as no excuse. I can see if if the the little girl was the girl was about give or take five to or or maybe. Yeah, four to about 11, but 17, this girl is almost grown. 17, she probably doing the same thing, the stuff that you doing. Let that girl come, let the female come to your house. And ladies, I'll say this, and when I say this, I might get my my, my man card taken away, but you can't take that. I'm, that's, that's, that's a lifetime membership. Um... I was about to get street and hood, y'all, and say don't let no N word, but I ain't even gonna say that. I'm still saved, y'all. Sanctified, Holy Ghost filled, fire baptized, got Jesus on my side, and I'm running for my life. 
I'm still I'm still doing that. <clears throat> but um um uh thank you. I I I that's a, a sign for a break. Um don't let no dude come to you. Don't 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 let him come to your house. If anything, you go somewhere. If y'all if y'all if I don't condone it, but if y'all would stay tonight, no. If he about if he if he about his business or whatever and got his own place, tell him to invite you to his house. Let him see, let you let let him let you see let him let you see there you go let him let you see how he lives you don't do that Mm-mm. let your palace be your palace your kingdom be your kingdom that's your spot good vibes only in your spot and but you shouldn't get mad for one, you shouldn't get mad. And I cannot sit, and I personally can't say, you know, hey, which age bracket that I don't want to allow my, my, my child to see me with a, with a woman. I can't say that. So you need to re- even respect him for that. You know, respect him because that could be, you know, he could be using that as an excuse or he could be saying, no, I'm not letting my children, no matter how old they are, see me with this woman and that woman and this woman and that one. No. Mm-mm. So respect him for that. I'll be back with more of the RH3 show. All right, be back in a moment. Hi, I'm Rufus, host of the RH3 show. I've been the host of this great platform for an entire decade. During this decade, I've been blessed to join the platform of radio and podcasting. As I continue to work my gift, I realize that it has been you, my day one family, and also my co-host family, who I call my radio broadcast listeners, who have gotten me to this point. Out of the many years of being in broadcasting as well as journalism, for the each level that I reach, and as I continue to climb the ladder of success, it only serves me right to give you better content and also better quality of material. And by doing that, you know it costs. It costs. We're looking forward to getting new and up-to-date audio equipment, video equipment to revamp the RS3 show content on YouTube, attend award shows, and etc. So if the RS3 show have been a blessing to you, which it shows, and we know that you have been a blessing to us, which it shows, please consider sponsorship. I pray that God touches your heart and give you the nod to sow a seed into this broadcast. Even if you haven't listened to the broadcast before and feel led to be a blessing, I thank you in advance. If you will, please begin by sowing a financial seed of any amount. How you can do this, you can visit my website at thearch3show.com and click on sponsorship. Whatever you sow, I pray that God will richly bless you and it all come back to you 100 fold. This show has been a blessing to me and has been a release for me. I love what I do, you guys. I love what I do. And as I say on every broadcast, every YouTube video, or whatever I do, know that I love you for real. And always remember to live every day, laugh at every moment, and to love God, to love yourself, and to love other people beyond words. Again, for more about me or the broadcast, and also to become a sponsor and to give financially, you can visit my website at thearsvshow.com. you guys we're back we're back i think i got uh enough for one or two more letters let's go ahead with it let's go ahead with it two women uh uh two women t-o women to or two two women if a man is looking to make you uh i'm gonna read half of this um because this is a a full-fledged discussion um but um, it says two women. If a man is looking to make you his wife, then uh, shut up about your sexual past. If uh, you like to be his wife, 
the um and uh the reason why I cut it off because I'm gonna stop there because the rest of the this letter is irrelevant and is dealing with a whole nother um a whole nother um um uh, um topic but I wanted to um speak on that and the reason I I I went on that is because for one um um not really for one but um some people look at somebody's past their past relationships or who they've been with and you know just that and the third and some people don't and my thoughts on this is that it sh- if you if you you okay let me back up Make it make it plain, Red, because I know it's all coming together, and and I'm this is my first time reading this, and that's why I don't have my thoughts all together. But to make it plain and clean and and clean it up, if you have a sexual past, a promiscuous sexual past, and you find yourself wanting to do right, ask God to clean you up. Like the word says, "Old things are passed away, and behold, all things have become new." And of course, yes, that's spiritual, but you know, Hey, if you're fine, you know, whatever ladies do not, if you, you know, if you say, well, I have a tumultuous past, I have a promiscuous past and ain't nobody going to want me or whatever. Don't worry about that. Do not worry about that. Do not worry about that. And one guy, um, say it, um, well, one girl say it. Uh, I just want to make this clear to any woman looking for a real man. If your body count, meaning that, you know, the men that you dealt with uh, is a problem for your mate, leave his child behind where he stands. And I stand on that 100%. I stand on that 100%. Listen, it should matter, but it shouldn't. But he should love you for who you are. And if that's and if you have a change behavior, you have a change behavior. But what I will say is, once you get married, I told you this is an elephant in the room type discussion all month long. And we talk real raw, straight to the point. And I do not promote, um, uh, (laughs) I don't promote it, but I know we are in, you know, hey, we're in, um, 2020 but when you get married if you're very promiscuous then be promiscuous for your husband oh reg i know you can't didn't say that yes i did for your husband and husband only it will strengthen your relationship Y'all, these Doritos is good. <laughs> and they nacho cheese. And I really don't like nacho cheese Doritos. I love the Cool Ranch. So, if y'all was to ever see me or get a gift pack for me, I love Cool Ranch Doritos. Love them. Let's move on. I got time for one more. And so that the next letter reads, <clears throat> ladies, how do you respond to your man? You know what? I'm not going there. <laughs> I'm not going there. Let me read this quick question. I'm not going to go there. Yeah, I have not pre-read these questions. I need uh, opinions. Of, uh, I need others' opinions. So our lease is up, and we pay check to um, check. So we are paycheck to paycheck family right now because. I lost my job due to COVID. We have a one-year-old daughter, and we wanted to at least a uh, we wanted to lease a two-bedroom house, but we can't find any good area. 
in the price range. My sister and her boyfriend's lease is up too, and they are also looking for a place to stay. A place they need uh, only need a one bedroom. I suggested to him that we get a three bedroom with my sister and her boyfriend because we can get a very nice place and go 50 50 with them, which will save us and them money. He freaked out and said, I hate your family. If in if it was anyone else, I would, but not your family. My sister has not has n- done nothing wrong to him ever. He hangs she hangs out with us uh, all the time. Anyways, he said, I don't want to because that would be the worst thing for our family. So I said, No, that would be the worst thing for you. And now he's not talking to me. Advice I'm lost. You can't afford a two bedroom house. And that's not in the hood um, by ourselves. I also need to convince him. Um, I need to convince him getting a roommate that we know, like my sister, is going to benefit us a lot. Okay. <clears throat> this is hard. This is hard giving an opinion. But his his verbiage was wrong. But he was correct. I'm not. I. Uh, I. Uh, uh. No, I can't. I, I. I don't want to. I don't want to allow nobody else's family moving in with us. Mm-mm. No. 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 We can find somebody else or whatever. But for him to say he hate my family, nah. Mm-mm. And then if he if he. I would try to get him together, meaning that I'd get him straight. Look, wait a minute. You hang around my sister. My sister hang around us. And you saying you hate her? Dude, you talking out the side of your neck. I mean, come on now. Fix your mouth. You need to, and, and, and whatever. But, with him being, I, I mean, uh, Um, and don't say if he was your boyfriend or your husband, if he's your boyfriend, oh, he need to be gone because he's not going to download, download. He's not going to down, um, down, downgrade, uh, my family like that. If he was your husband, you know, okay, whatever, but he's your boyfriend. Nah, nah. All right, you guys know that I love you for real. And always remember to live every day, laugh every moment, and to love God and love yourself and love other people. Beyond words, for more about me, uh, Red, or the RH3 show, you can visit our website, Our, Our, Our. We have a team. And and even if we didn't have a team, we got co-hosts. And they are part of the RH3 show. So visit our website at therh3show.com. And, um, um... Yeah, a, a lot of stuff on there. If you would like to be a sponsor of the RH3 show and like to sponsor the broadcast, do so by visiting our website at the rh 3 showcom and click on the sponsorship tab. I love you all for real. Sorry for about this rambling. I'm <clears throat> moving some things. And so I'm, I got to go. I, got, I just got to go. I'll talk to y'all later tomorrow. We got Professor Wilbur Belton with us. On air, <clears throat> he'll be here with us. Be on your best behavior. Be here, be on time. I know I will. I'll see you all tomorrow. Bright and early. Not bright and early, but midday. Midday vibes. Good vibes only. We're going to rock it out. Tomorrow on the RHD show. All right. Talk to you later. Bye. Peace party, people. <laughs> see you later. Good night. Good night.